What's Gucci, everybody? It's AJ here again, and today we are going to be learning about another type of sorting algorithm called the insertion sort. The insertion sort can be compared to how somebody would, for example, or, uh, order cards in a card game, such as placing their cards in orders of threes, fives, sixes, tens, all the way up to aces. In this tutorial, I hope to go through how the algorithm works, as well as its big O efficiency, if you know what that means. This algorithm will work like this. You are going to pick up a card, and you are going to first make that your sorted subarray. Then, using that card, you're going to pick up another card. And depending on where that second card should go, you're going to either shift the card the corresponding cards up to make sure that the card you just drew is in the proper position. The best way to show this is by example. So as you can see here I have a array of eight elements with different number values and I'm going to sh and they are obviously not in order and I'm going to show you how this algorithm works to make them in order. So let's say the first card I pick up, I'm going to go from left to right, is 55. I'm going to pick up 55, and I'm going to put that in my hand. So since I only have one card in my hand, to think of it that way, the 55 is sorted because it has nothing to look against. So now I'm going to pick up another card, and it's going to be the leftmost card after that, which is a 2. And now the cards are not ordered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift the 55 back and put the 2 in the first position. And now those cards are ordered. So I'm going to draw my next card, which is a 9. And the same thing is going to happen. I'm going to shift the 55 back, not swap. I'm going to shift the 55 back and put the 9 right there. And then the same thing is going to, ha going to happen with 34. I'm just going to shift the 55 back, put in 34, check, see that they're all sorted, and that will be the end of that one. And now I'm going to pick up my next card, which is a 99. And 99 will, I'll check that it is greater than 55, and that will be it. I'll be, that will be sorted. And now I'm going to pick one up, and as you can see, one is going to be a, deal breaker here and for one I'm going to have to shift all my all of my cards over one spot so that to make room for one so I will do that cards are something I like to think of use what this algorithm is best used for you could think of anything else but cards works for me now I'm going to pick up 66 which again I all I have to do is shift over 99 and then 44, I think you get it at this point, is just going to go is going to go in between these two after I push everything over and put 44 in there. And as you can see, now we have a sorted array of cards. And now I'm going to quickly talk about the big O analysis. If you do not know what big O analysis is, watch my video on it. The worst case you could have in this algorithm is n squared because if you had a reverse dealing of cards to arrange them, you would have to shift everything over a certain amount of times. So this would be 1, then 2, then 3, all the way up to n minus 1 times would be have to, which you have to shift over. And after you add all those up, it comes close to n squared times. The best case, though, would be n as for example, if you already if you somehow manage to be lucky and pick up a perfect sorted array of cards, then you would just either check the first card and you would move on and you would be able to have a pretty quick linear efficiency. But as you can see, if you had a very big array of cards or had to pick up a lot of cards, then a qu this so insertion sort would not work as well as a squared function is not the best in very big arrays. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe, uh, check out my website if you want, and anything else you would like. I hope you guys have a 
Don Tootin' Good Day. I'll see you later.